And in the agriculture sector now, farmers are to get the port bearer resistant cowpea seeds in this farming season. The Director General of the National Biotechnology Development Agency, Professor Abdullahi Mustafa, made this known in Abuja. He also hinted that a stewardship committee is also set up to oversee the deployment of the modified cowpea variety, which has also been put in place. Lara Falaya reports. The Nigerian authorities approved the port borer resistant cowpea for commercial release following an earlier approval for the variety's environmental release. The PBR cowpea modified with the Bacillus stringensis BT gene has the ability to fight the Maruka vitrata, a major pest challenge to beans farming in Nigeria. It is the first genetically modified food crop to be approved in the country. Farmers in several states have so far carried out field demonstrations of these seeds and the result results have been highly impressive. The lockdown induced by COVID-19 and severe floods in agrarian states pushed down the country's food production in 2020. Cowpea particularly saw a rise in cost owing to a decline in production. Farmers are now to get the port borer resistant cowpea seeds for farming this planting season. Thus re recently port borer resistant Cowpea will be getting to farmers this planting season. This stage of commercialization requires active involvement of media to ensure that farmers get value for their money. It will commence maybe around July, June, July, because the planting will be in August. Um, so it's going to be accessible to farmers for sure uh, through seed companies. I think there are three seed companies that have been earmarked to, to uh, carry out the distribution of seeds to farmers. And I, and I think um, that will be okay. The Biotechnology Agency also says appreciable progress has been made in the process towards developing locally made COVID-19 vaccines. Now our team has gone to about stage three, if I cannot uh, forget, stage three of the development. We are developing mRNA vaccine and this vaccine development has to do with so many components. We are working together with our collaborators from all over the world and within the country. We hope and we envisage that in the next two to three years we will have a result. The Biotechnology authorities seek support of the media in helping change the narrative on public perception of genetically modified crops. This is against the background of rewarding journalists who have distinguished themselves in the technology's reportage. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.